All right, how to find the area of a regular pentagon. Now to find the area of a regular pentagon, uh, we, first off, there is a formula for it. I don't use it very often, but it's good to have. Area of a regular pentagon is the perimeter, and this is any regular polygon, is the perimeter times apothem, and I'll explain what an apothem is here in just a second, all divided by two. So in our case, uh, so let's say this thing is 12 meters. This is a pretty good sized pentagon. And we've got this 12 meter pentagon. All the sides are 12 meters then. What I like to do and what many do is you split this up into regular triangles where you connect the center to the radii or to the vertices to create radii. So those red lines are the radii. The apothem I'm talking about is the height of each of those triangles. They're all the same triangle and they're all congruent but this blue line is the apothem. And so once you have that apothem, because we've already got the base, and I'll go ahead and use the formula since I've spewed it out there. So it's 12 centimeters well, 12 times 5 is 60, so we've already got most of this formula created created here. 60 times, uh, I'll call that apothem A, divided by 2 is all we have left to find is that apothem. So let's go ahead and find this thing. Well, we're going to need a little more information. Well, first off, we divided the pentagon into triangles. And so uh, each of these angles all the way around makes a circle. If you add them all up, you'd get 360. Well, there's five of them. So 360 divided by five is, is 72. So that's 72 degrees. And we're going to split that in half with the apothem here. So this angle is just 36 degrees. So we could pull that triangle apart. You know, this length here is half of the 12, which is 6, which would go here. Here's my 90 degree angle. Here's my apothem. Here's my 36 degree angle. Uh, and so we're really ready to solve this. And we're going to have to use uh, trig in this case. So 6 is opposite. A is adjacent. The radius is hypotenuse. We don't really need it for the area, but I'll put it in there anyway. And if you remember SOHCAHTOA, S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A, you know, we've got the opposite. We're looking for the adjacent. Well, the only one dealing with opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we're going to use tangent in this case. So tangent, 36 degrees. Is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 6 over A. So I always like to use uh, the Google calculator if you uh, have my kids use that as well. So we're going to go tangent 36 degrees. Make sure, you know, that's radians, that's degrees. Make sure you convert that to degrees first. In this particular case, we're not messing with radians yet. So tangent 36 is point. 7265 and we'll just round that we'll keep that uh, 0.7265 and we'll put that over 1 that's in place of the tangent 36 equals 6 over a and then we'll cross multiply and so if you cross multiply that'd be 0.7265 times a equals 6 times 1 and so we know A or the apothem or apothem I think is how they say that is 6 divided by 0.7265 so back to our calculator so 6 divided by your previous answer uh, is 8.26 so there's our apothem So, back to our formula. Now that you have the apothem 
and uh, we can go ahead and plug that in. So this becomes area 60 times 8.26 divided by 2. And I'll kind of eliminate some of this so we've got some room. So you get your calculator out again. Uh, 60 times 8.26 divided by 2. So we're going to take that number times 60. And then we're going to divide that in half. And so our approximate area is 247.7. and meters squared. And so there's area of a pentagon. And I hope this helps and see you next time.